whatever. I'm a good girl. How old are you? Yes, yes. How old are you? 27. And you have never, ever cheated in your life. No, why should I? Let me I'm ask you something. Too, I'm <laughs> too good. I'm, 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 I'm a Catholic. Too much guilt. Well, you can't deal with the guilt. Well, you just said, you, yeah, know, you, say, you, just, you just said, you say you're too good. Right. That means you're too good, you can't get caught. No, too good to do it. The guilt <laughs> will kill me. <laughs> Can you talk, we have, say you're Catholic. They're not Catholic to that now, for doing it. Confessions. Yeah, man, yes, yes. Adam, lay a lot of guilt for you. You feel so? I'm an angel in the morning, evening, and but, afternoon. But let me tell you something, Kate. If you're 27 years old, I want money after the whole 27 years. Well, I'm not one man for the past six years, so. Six that's years? That's a lot, doesn't it? So let mm. me ask you something. You feel you say you're a man cheap for you? Um, mm. no, no, I'm asking. Hold on, Richard, they were cheap on me. <laughs> 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 Yo, Rich, put Richard by the phone. Put Richard by the phone. Hold on, hold on. It seems like you're intoxicated. He, he said, no, he doesn't want to talk. I think I'm guilty. He's got some things to do. Yo, dads, come on, dads, man up. Come by the phone, man. He doesn't want to talk. Intoxication. To <laughs> Richard, come on the phone, Richard. Richard, come. Talk Richard, to him, man. Richard, wants to know if you ever cheated on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put uh, that. Yeah, put the man in a precarious situation and know it up. Oh, Lord. All right, but anyway, listen up, girl. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, thank you for being uh, a sport. All right. All right. But I just, I just want to say once again, one of the things that we must align ourselves with is the lyrical content of all these tracks, man. It really gets us in focus with our lives. All right, because I've been in situations, man. Because I'm out there, and it's kind of hard, man. All right. Now, now I'm a little bit more mature and I'm more grounded. But back in the days, I'm not lying, I have cheated, man. It's hard to go out there, Shaggy and Katie, and see these beautiful, intelligent women. God has blessed us with these princesses and queens. And it's hard to just go out with one. Well, let's say a human need. Just them. one? You're skew. Fuck that. Sean. <laughs> Chin, you're in the building. Come on. Stop pretending like you're on your Blackberry. Just <laughs> one. Just one. It's hard, man. It is. It, it, it is very, 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 very hard. It's extremely hard but, hard. but everything comes with age, you know. Because after a while, yes, you mature. Like, you mature and you start realizing. You know, any youth, basically, once in the start, as a young youth, you're a kid in a candy store. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And, and everything is for the picking, and it's even harder for people as entertainer because at the end of the day, you know, what I mean, the woman in agree to left, right, and center. You know, with, it's with, true. With it's true. But it's good offers. that yeah, it's good that the album you know gives us the stories, and that's the reason why people yeah. need to pick it up, and of course find out more about life in general. Shaggy yeah. at a at a level right now, right now you have to respect what it is that Orville Burrell Shaggy has done right here. Od, yeah, intoxication this coming Tuesday. This is one album I'm telling you. You cannot appreciate the album by just listening to one track. You got to buy this album, stick one in the car, stick one in the home, listen to it. VP Records, I'm telling you, they're doing big things. When we come back after the top of the hour, more with Shaggy in the studios and more energy, more vibe. This Tuesday, yep. Intoxication Shaggy drops in stores. I a long time. You know, I'm gonna man, I serve for your sign. This is a little bit till the end of time. But I know that I'm really up on my mind. I want to live a long time. You know, for me, I'm gonna search for your sign. This is she love me till the end of time. But I know that I'm really up on my mind. Shaggy, you're doing this, man. And I gotta ask you, you know, I just gotta ask you, why are you still doing this, brother? Seriously, why are you still doing this, man? You don't have to be doing this. I mean, you have accomplished so much as an, as an artist. I mean, you have, you have reached certain heights that artists will never reach. They just won't reach it. And you're still at it. You're still going at it aggressively. I see the passion when you perform. I mean, I was down in Jamaica at um, Jazz and Blues, man, and I saw you give a performance down there. Unbelievable. No matter, you came to the Reggae Fest twice, and you had to come back again. People are saying, Squeezy got to bring Shaggy. What is it about you, why you keep doing albums, why you keep performing, why you keep giving the music what it is that you're giving? And now, intoxication dropping on Tuesday the 13th. Well, first of all, we can't say never. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, you, can, you never can, you know, I think years ago people that look on, on reggae music or dance and music can say, well, it, dance and music can never sell platinum or dance and music can never sell gold. Mm -hmm. See, but dance and music end up, you know, selling, selling diamonds. So, you know, I mean, we're always, but yeah, yeah I must admit, the, the future kind of look bleak in a way. You know, <laughs> and, and, and it certainly is a difficult task, you know. 
But overall, um, what keeps me going is just a passion for you. You know why I see me play ball squeeze. Me's <laughs> 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 no sports fanatic at all. Right, right. You know, me know music. You mm -hmm. know, me no profess to be good at anything else but music. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, even, even, even as a scholar in school, me, 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 me a boy where, you know, me, me, me never go college and them things. Mm -hmm. You know, see, um, my basic ed education, I have a whole for street education. Right, right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I get a boy, I'm a born a, 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 a real town, mm -hmm. grew up in a, in a western Kingston. You know what I say? Last place I live at Portmore, I, I, do, I go through everything. You know what I mean? I live at Flatbush. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do everything with, 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 what is right and everything that is wrong. wrong. I've been right. there. Well, been there, man. Yeah. So, you know, and to me, that is, that is teaching. I go into the military. I look on the side, but the best thing about to me is, is the opportunity to travel the world. Right. You know what I mean? You realize that, you know, once you use your passport, you realize there's a whole big world out there and, and there's different cultures and different, you know, there, there's so many things to, to you know, it, it, to be a part of. Right. So to by, involve yourself, you know. So by carrying the music and doing the music, yeah, you're carrying I mean, the torch for all of us. Yeah, man, you can't just be, sit down and just think about Jamaica, 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 Jamaica alone. You have to take it. The, the minute you pass the Norman Manley Airport, you are now an ambassador for the music. You have to carry the flag high. We in a dance our music, have to do, do, do our music. We have to be, have to work three times as hard as any genre of music mm -hmm. to make it. Because right. we're a minority music with a majority sound. Wow, you I like I mean? that. I like that. You know, I see, like that so line. That is definitely outgoing. Minority music with a majority sound. I yes. like that. I think I'm going to be using you that see. one if you don't mind. No, no, no you can't be a riot. All right, funny. cool. <laughs> <laughs> see, a businessman also. Wow. Speaking yeah. about being a businessman and speaking about business, all right? Yeah. It's a great CD, beautiful CD. Love the artwork. Love what it is that the tracks um, stand for and mm -hmm. love where it, it is going, all right? We know exactly where this is headed. I know coming up shortly you're going to be on television with quite a few big talk show hosts and all of that stuff. Yeah, we're getting them as we go along. Yeah, I yeah, know. Um, I, I know there's quite a few labels on here. Well, basically two labels. I know there's VP Records and Big, Big Yard on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this evidently is a collab with um, VP Records. Yeah, right. VP Records. Explain that side to me because, you know. Well, put it this way. When we're on Giffen, mm -hmm. um, after it, you see, Hot Shot was a blessing and a curse in a way. Blessing in the fact that yeah, we sold a lot of records. Blessing mm -hmm. the fact that it opened up. Um, the, the, the majors to really realize that dance and music or this genre of music can be a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. um, a curse in the sense that now they're expecting that, you know, always. Mm -hmm. And um, and and not if you listen to every shaggy music, it, every, every one of them different. You know what I mean? So for me to give them something different, that was a hard sell to them. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because when you give a record company, Angel and it wasn't me, and them sell millions and millions and millions. They can't give them anything else. Right, right. So when we come in a track like Wild Tonight, now, which I knew at that point that I had to reinvent myself to, to the core, core market. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I find myself, I go to Jamaica, and you know what I mean? More and be able to can, as well as me do well in the mainstream and, right. and, and play with Michael Jackson and these people. You want to, you, you know, wanna. more can go straight down in the order in and stand up right beside Bounty Killer. True. See? And, and being a man well represented. and well represented, yeah. and, and to me that never that never go on. One because I couldn't do as much mm -hmm. local tune. Like if you notice, like within the last year or so, you start say Big Yard. Mm -hmm. You see, you see Big Yard start put out more, more. seven inch and forty five. Yes. Before that, contractually, I couldn't do that. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Because we're limited. We, yeah, we, yeah. I couldn't do for whole collaboration because when when you have them, have, them are them big artists where I sell. You know what I mean? Diamond. They don't want to just approve any little thing for him come out for. And that became a problem. So when we start with some dance hall tune here and they would have been Dave or with Tony or Birch or anyone, it becomes a problem because they still have to sign off on it. Mm -hmm. Then I came with Wild Tonight, um, which is their product, their their thing, but more come from the street first. And they just wouldn't back me on it. I mean, we ended up doing well because we get a number one in Jamaica, number one within the Caribbean. So it did it it, it, it did set a platform right. for move forward. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, could you imagine me walking in with with Church Eden and I said that's yeah, that's the next yeah, big tune yeah. to a major? Right. So I had to go. I had to get rid of the record company. I knew in October. <laughs>